C O O. For Kimberly, the addition of music has been profound for me, but there is just an emotion uh, and a depth that music brings out of the story that I could never do as a playwright. Music does something magical. I love working with something like this kind of play because there's room for music to deepen what's already there. You don't have to invent it, you just have to develop it. I like the way you see the world, I like your point of view. Janine, she's a composer where you never know what you're going to get because she can write anything. She understands story in a way that not all composers do. But what Janine understands as a composer is that each song should sound like the way the character speaks. And so it made my job a whole lot easier. Yicky, Mickey, Ricky, Icky. Janine and I have a definitely a, a very special orchestrator-composer chemistry where she trusts that I, I know what to do with the music and I know that uh, how much space I can kind of take and in, in, in still obviously respecting every note she writes. So our instincts and aesthetics for what like music wants to become sort of marry in a really cool way and she really gives me a lot of space to to go and run with it. Working with Janine and John Clancy, our orchestrator, is uh, they're, they're like my favorite people to work with because they're just fantastic collaborators. I'm really pulling from like all the music I grew up on and studied since I'm a kid and every piece of music comes your way you're pulling from the things that inspired you. The Great Adventure was one of the last songs that we actually wrote together and we knew it was gonna be the last song in the show. I think we knew that we wanted ukulele in it and that's pretty much all that we knew At last, a great adventure. the ukulele is an instrument i've always loved we knew that the ukulele was going to be a sort of reflection of kimberly because there's something so incredibly sad and so joyous about a ukulele when you hear the song just the uke and everything they're singing, it's either the saddest happy song or the happiest sad yeah. song. If you want to know what Janine Tesori actually sounds like, this is what she sounds like. This score is what her real voice is. You hear it, you're like, oh, I see you. For me, it's really about a vibe. It's about a rhythm and about then matching the inner life to the outer life. So what a character is hearing in New Jersey in the, in the 90s versus what a character is singing inside their hearts. That's where the music lives for me. Because no one gets a second time.